In this video, we'll be going over group anagrams. So give me an array of strings, group the anagrams together. You can return the answer in any order. An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all of the original elements exactly once. So for example, we have the array, and then we're trying to group that into anagrams. And uh, this is a valid grouping because they, they have the same characters, but the characters does not have to be in the same exact position. Now let's go over this, um, the thought process. We will need a way to find the simil similarities between anagrams. Now anagrams are words with the same characters, but the, but the characters are not in the same position. That have the same character but the characters are not in the same position. This means if we sort the word, if we sort all of the words, the characters inside of the words in each of the group, they will become the same word. If we sort the characters of two anagrams, the two strings will become the same. This means we can create a hash map where we map the sorted version to the word, the sorted version on the word to a list of valid anagrams. Then we can convert our hash map into a list later. Let's go over the pseudocode. So we're going to create a hash map map to keep track of sorted version or sorted word to a list of valid anagrams or we, we can say sorted characters inside the word that'll be fine too then i'm going to iterate through the words inside strings the input array denoted as word we're going to find the sorted version sorted version so we're going to call it sort of word then we're going to put sort and a new list into map if it does not exist. Then we're going to add word to the list associated with sort inside the map. Now we can convert our map into a list. So we can say create a list results to keep track of all the groupings. Then we iterate through the values of map, which are the lists. So we can call it anagrams. Then we can add anagram to result. Then we can return results. Let's go over the time and space complexity. So time complexity is equal to O of N is times by K log K plus O of N. So it's go to O of N K log K. Where N is the total number of words and k is the is the length of the longest string now for this one is for each of the words we sort its characters so the character the sorting of the characters takes k log of k and then this n words so we do n times k log k now of n is converting map to list or to results now let's go to the space complexity. Space complexity is O of n times k, or 2 times n times k. So it just go to O of n k. It's the map and resulting list. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to first create our hash map, which maps the sorted version of each word into a list of anagrams. Then we're going to iterate through the words inside the input string. Then we're going to find a sorted version. So we're going to say sorts equals to. We're going to create a, a sort string. We're going to sort, sort the current word. And then we're going to put a new list into map if sorts is absent. 
or store has not been added to map yet. Then we can add get source add the current word, and then we can say return convert to list. We're gonna create our we're gonna convert our map to a list. So let's first create the method of sorting our string. Now we're gonna first convert it to a character array. Then we can sort the characters. Then we can return a new string of the characters, the sort of characters. Now we're gonna convert this to a to a list. Convert a map to a list. So let's say convert to a list. We're gonna create a list of results to hold all the groupings of anagrams. Then we're gonna iterate to the anagrams inside the map. Then result that add current anagram. Then we can return the result. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you pass the technical interview. I upload videos every day and if there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.